Hello everyone. In uh, today's session, we will uh, be exploring uh, chair which has been uh, since a while in uh, Dynamics uh, ERP, and uh, this feature is about uh, payable. And uh, in the payable, we have multiple uh, uh, invoice journals. Uh, basically, one is uh, simply called invoice journal. The other is vendor invoice, which is based on the purchase order. And then we have uh, another uh, third type of the invoices, which are basically uh, registered, and then uh, it it are basically once approved and posted, so it will go to another uh, invoice pool stage. And once those invoices are in 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 invoice pool, then an invoice approval journal is basically created in order to retrieve the invoices available in invoice pool and post to the uh, post to the final uh, ledger through invoice approval journal so this is another uh, option which have been uh, available in ERP since uh, uh, since long time and uh, this is also useful once uh, you do not uh, want uh, the uh, payable clerks to directly create an invoice journal and uh, uh, basically select a ledger uh, there so instead of you need to have a two step process where invoice registers are basically in the invoice register basically all the invoices are being recorded uh, without the selection of ledger account directly uh, rather through posting profile and then once it is validated posted it will be in the invoice pool so that you can uh, create an invoice approval journal and create once for all whatever the selected invoices you will uh, select here uh, available in the invoice pool so the mm, posting profile setup for this is also required so that the control accounts already are available and you at any stage of time you know that uh, how many are pending approval in the invoice pool so uh, the uh, if you go to the payable module in the setup so here you will uh, go to the vendor posting profile in the vendor posting profile you will have uh, like for all for group of uh, vendors the arrival and offset accounts so the in the arrival account basically if you open the account uh, this 20130 in usmf contoso entity you will see that it is invoice pending approval and the main account type is the balance sheet or liability account so same if you want to go to the offset account you will also find this is also a control account type okay and uh, this is also used for uh, whatever are the pending uh, uh, invoices so accounts payable offset invoice pending approval this main account type is also liability here so that at any point of time if it is non zero means some value is there so it means there are some invoices available in the invoice pool which need to be posted through invoice approval journal so this is the basic setup and then uh, for the journal names uh, i will go to the uh, basically if you can go to journal ledger journal setup and journal names there you will find this uh, invoice register journal type this is linked with this uh, feature and uh, here you need to create a journal uh, type of invoice register okay then we have here in AP invoice approval and that journal type is of approval type so in this way and then the vouchers are also associated and if you want you can have a workflow or the normal approval uh, feature which was the very previous feature is also available for approval for, but for now we will not use any of the approvals here rather we will see how this feature basically works so you can go to the accounts payable module and go to first step that is invoice register where you will be recording all the invoices in the same invoice register okay so we will create one invoice register here and we will go to the lines okay in the lines you can uh, select a particular date for which you want to record the invoices and then you have a selection of the vendor so that you can select a vendor and then in the invoice date you can put exactly the date which is basically for this invoice and the invoice number also you can enter here so I will be entering invoice number and then description uh, uh, for this uh, expense type maybe and then in the credit in the credit you will put 
basically uh, whatever the expense type expense nature is so in this way uh, whatever uh, in the vendor uh, account is so so vendor is the uh, after selection of vendor you will put here the uh, expense for that vendor 100 uh, uh, usd and uh, you have also say item sales tax group and sales tax group so you can select a sales tax group here or if it is already selected on the vendor level so it will automatically retrieve here so we do not want here any discount so i will remove the discount uh, and the calculated sales tax is five percent here uh, based on the sales tax group i have selected and item sales tax whatever the common tax codes are so the on the basis of that the tax amount is being calculated <coughs> so this is it so once i have uh, entered it i can validate or directly post it okay so here it is mentioning the employee to approve the uh, approve the line is not specified <coughs> so now in uh, the line we will uh, put the employee which will be approving this uh, journal as to be current uh, user with which i am logged in and uh, just select it and now validate okay so it is now validated and you can uh, post the journal invoice register okay so now the invoice register has been posted and is mentioned voucher has been transferred for approval in the pool <coughs> so the next step is we will go to the approval uh, invoice pool <coughs> and we will check here that our uh, invoice is available here we have checked invoice pool and we will go to the invoice approval journal and we will create here <coughs> invoice approval and go to the lines <coughs> then you can uh, see here find voucher option is available so you can just go ahead and uh, <coughs> uh, open this form and in this form you can see the vendor account invoice numbers and uh, <coughs> voucher along with the description and who will be approving this which is now current user uh, so it is uh, shown here and with the credit uh, uh, amount 105 is shown here so we will just uh, select all because now only one uh, uh, this invoice register is pending or you can select a specific uh, invoice registers here invoice lines here and then just click ok it will come under the uh, below pane now in the invoice approval journal you can see at the above level there is a header and at the bottom level there is the <coughs> lines available and the <coughs> total impact is shown here so here you can see account payable offset account this is the one of offset invoice pending uh, approval okay so the other account is now booked here which is the of of office supplies expense now it is the final entry going to the expense account so this is the total and then you can see uh, 105 this is in accounts payable others and then we have here invoice pending approval so <coughs> this will be debited and the credit goes to the uh, previous account which is accounts payable others okay so this is now we can we also it is uh, worth mentioning here you can change this account as well if you want to change the expense account okay so now what we'll do just validate and post okay so the voucher is posted now and uh, what we'll need to do is check our uh, journal print okay so this is the total impact so the positive lines here shows the debit uh, debit side and the credit lines are with the negative okay so the same uh, entries which were shown before are shown here as well okay so invoice pending approval is now reversed here so here we can see the final effect <coughs> and this is basically the ultimate net effect and office supplies expense is debited with 100 uh, usd and offset invoice pending approval is credited with 100 before it was debited with the 100 usd and the uh, accounts payable other along with the tax that is five dollars uh, 100 and uh, 100 was the main amount and five dollar as the sale tax amount 
So 105 it goes to the liability account, vendor liability or payable. And then invoice pending approval is also debited now to in order to reverse the previous effect in the invoice pending approval. So uh, before it was credited, now it is debited. So in this way, we have uh, basically now posted the invoice approval journal. And uh, this, is, this is a very useful feature in the companies where the accountants or the low level clerk that has less knowledge about ledger and uh, the uh, management they, they don't want to involve them uh, to basically mess up with the ledger directly so it will be very good uh, if you will use this feature <coughs> as a first step all the invoices will be recorded in invoice register and there will be some ap approvers who will be approving this so that it goes after posting to invoice pool and once it is available in invoice pool so uh, separate invoice approval journals can be created uh, as per the approval uh, uh, hierarchy uh, whatever uh, different uh, lines of approvers are there so they will create separate journal uh, in the invoice approver and uh, we have already uh, explained the posting profiles which are needed and the journal types in ledger which you will be needing to create them feature can be used in uh, uh, payable module uh, thank you very much and uh, take care.